I want you guys to know that no matter how bad you feel, no matter how bleak your situation is, you shouldn't let this end your story. Think about it like this. Life is like a book, a book that you write, a book that you control, a book that has infinite potential to be a number one bestseller. Don't let your book end prematurely. Every day we live is another page in a book that we call life. We dictate what is written on that page by how we feel, what we do and how we act. If you let depression and negative things overwhelm you, your entire book will be depressing. It will be negative and you are the only one that can that can change that. The odds of being born are one in 400 billion. There are 8 billion people on the planet. The odds of you being born are 1 in 400 billion. You are more likely to be bitten and killed by a shark 100,000 times than be born. So I don't want to hear anyone ever say that they aren't good at anything, that they're not a winner. I don't want to hear anyone say that that is worth losing. My dad committed suicide exactly 18 months ago on my birthday. I never had the chance of a relationship with him because of how he wrote his book. He was an abusive heroin addict who chased his next high instead of chasing his heart and being with family, being with people that he was meant to love. And I guarantee the last thing that he thought when he was laying there in his one bed apartment in Luton, in a puddle of his own sick on his living room floor, after injecting too much heroin, I guarantee his last thought would have been, fuck, that's life. I watched a video a while ago about a man who tried to commit suicide off the Golden Gate Bridge in America. He explained that the last thing that he thought when he left the railings of the Golden Gate Bridge was instant regret. He thought that he was falling to his death and the whole way down, he regretted it. Think about that for a second. A man who wanted to die and was prepared to kill himself, when the deed happened, he regretted it. I don't believe in a God. I wish, I wish I could. I believe in people. I don't want to wait for a higher being to come and save me from my shit day, from what I pictured to be a shit life because it's, it, it's not gonna happen. The only person that can change the way your story is written is you. In school, we are taught to remember facts. We are taught to remember facts on a piece of paper. And we are told that if you remember these facts correctly, you'll be successful. That's how we measure success in this world. We are not taught how to live a happy and healthy life. Because I promise you, I promise you, that getting A stars in school may look good, but it won't make you any happier than if you got all Fs. I left school with four GCSEs. Pretty much my entire school life, I was being mentally and physically abused by my dad. I was being bullied. I was being belittled by the teachers. I was told because I couldn't remember facts on a piece of paper, I wouldn't get anywhere in life. I wouldn't amount to anything. Oh, don't be like Mike, he won't get anywhere. People in my class will remember that being said. All I ever heard from teachers and, and students and my dad was, you can't do this. You can't do that. You shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. It, there was never a, you can do it. There's not enough positivity in the world. A study was made a while ago that shows that one in four people will suffer from depression or anxiety or both at some point in their lifetime. That doesn't mean, oh, I feel sad. That means that they are clinically depressed and that shouldn't be the case. If you are suffering from depression and you are watching this video now, I want to say again, please don't let this negative part of your life affect your story. If you let your depression and if you let these negative thoughts affect your entire book, not even you will want to read it. Go out there and find something that makes you happy. Don't listen to anyone else. You don't need good grades. If you don't want to be a lawyer, if you don't want to be a doctor, don't be a lawyer or a doctor just because people say it's good. The only way to find real happiness in the world is to find out who you are and chase that. Don't live your life half full. Don't let your book be depressing. I've tried to take my life before. I've thought about it way more times than I've tried. I used to cut, I used to escape life through any means possible until I realised that life is what you make it. And if you let these negative things take control of you, 
you never get over it. And again, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I'm still suffering with depression. I'm still suffering with anxiety. I live every day as it comes and it's still hard. But I know I'm a damn lot happier than I used to be because I want more. I strive for more. And I won't let these negative thoughts take over my entire day. It's okay to be sad, but it's not okay to let some of your feelings take over your entire life and get to the point where you lose it. I promise you it will get better.